Welcome to Indian Wells, California, home of the 2021 Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships, presented by Pickleball Central. Join us as the world's best players compete to earn cash prizes and the coveted title of national champion. This amazing action is brought to you by the city of Indian Wells, Franklin, Vila, Selkirk, Paddletech, Rockin' Protein, Takea, Superior Labs, Pro XR Pickleball, Franklin X40, and Margaritaville Pickleball by Head. And welcome back to Margaritaville, the USA Pickleball National Championships. You can see them warming up out on the court as we speak. Jesse Irvin and, Je oh yeah, Catherine Parenta, the Canadian, who is so deadly at this game. Cameron Irwin alongside Dave Fleming. And they're facing off in the winner's bracket final of the women's pro division against Annalie Waters and her mother, Lee Waters and you said there was a couple matchups earlier today that you just had to see to play into this. Yeah, the uh, the level that we've seen today has been unbelievable. The the Waters had to battle Lucy Kovalova and Andrea Coop, which is a tremendous, tremendous team. And that match, unlike the one we just saw with the men, was literally the same pattern cam for nearly an hour of Coop and Waters, Lee Waters, cross-court dinking and Anna Lee trying to find a way to come in, support her mom, bring that big two-handed back in. They were able to get it done and you know, they talked, I talked to them after the match and Lee talked about how I knew I needed to add something because she knows she's gonna get isolated. Anna Lee Absolutely. is one of the best players in the world. So when she does, what can she do to stay out of trouble and give Anna Lee a chance to come in and attack? Well, that's a great point. And, you know, we just talked about Lindsay and Riley Newman, the brother sister duo, but that's a mother daughter duo. And so there's some fun dynamics that take place. I know you said you got a chance to catch up with them, but any chance you do get to run into those two lovely ladies, the conversations are always so fun. They love this sport. They're so dynamic in it, and they just continue to grow. And Anna Lee, just 14 or 15 years old. And I love that it's that partnership from mom to daughter. But on the other side, I mean, these two, just an electric duo. Yes. Consistency is key for Jesse and Catherine. Yeah, and they're going to bring just so much variety and phenomenal shot making. They are on fire. They won tournament of champions. They won the PPA Masters. They know how to win. Absolutely. Well, here's a look at that team. That's Jesse Irvin right there playing on the right side. Settling into the cross court on ball number one. And again, Lee Waters working the cross court dink, using that forehand on the backhand side. Yeah. Pop up and put away, Jesse Irvin. Yeah, so you're going to see Lee standing in the green. Happy to hit an inside out forehand <laughs> dink and let Anna Lee fill the middle. She's more comfortable in the grass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so side out, 0-0 zero, zero still. I like that little roll. decision of which Waters was going to run and get it and they both sort of backed off to the last second. Push back off the kitchen line just a bit. And the two-handed backhand from the other waters, Lee. Yes, mom was bringing it there, found a 
Nice one-two combination, which is usually the winning form. Here, you got to be ready for that second ball, and she certainly was. Jesse Irvin takes a big breath. You could see it. You could hear it on court. And Parento and Irvin had problems filling the middle in their last match. They were able to win, win but uh, we'll see if that becomes a problem here, if they got it fixed. And certainly a big smash from Parento. Certainly got that point fixed. And again, those returns, you need them to be aggressive and deep in the court. However, you don't want them that deep. Yeah, and you had both ladies sliding. You had Parento sliding to hit a forehand, Annalise sliding to hit a backhand. That leaves the other half of your side open, and Parento found it. Yeah. A switch from the waters, Annalise on backhand side, finishes it with her four. Nice little cross court speed up, more so up the middle. Yeah, she's, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, there's a little bit of an issue there. Now that ball is going to beat pretty much anybody, whether you're having a problem with the middle or not. Mm -hmm. uh, something to just keep an eye on. And there's the pressure of Anna Lee off a good drop. You can shake and bake a third, too. Just put that pressure. She comes to the tee and just says, try and beat me. It's all about that off-ball movement. Catalano and I have talked about it for the last few days, just how much you can impact the game when you're not even the one hitting the ball. And when you are the one hitting the ball, like Lee Waters right there on the replay. Boom. There was a poach defended, and then another ball put away by the Waters. And this is how the familiarity of how they play pays off so well for the mother-daughter to fill that open court and hit the winner. And Anna Lee attack in the middle. That's a great reset. But three too many. This is how the waters play when they start playing with pace. Yeah, when you hear the sound of the paddle going down, you just can't let, because the crowds here, they love 14-year-old Anna Lee Waters. They love the mother-daughter team that you talked about, Cameron. You can't let that momentum train just run you over. Good timeout. Absolutely. Well, you talk about momentum, and they have found just that five to one. Waters on top of Irvin and Parento. You can see a little bit of coaching down there. Your former broadcast yes. partner just from this morning. Yeah, Scott Crandall down there uh, does a lot of practicing with Jesse Irvin, so he's seen this very perspective that we have here, Cameron. Uh, and, you know, I think get that ball down and get into some of those uh, dink points with Lee Waters and well, find the opportunity for them you, to get tagged. And you saw that in the first few rallies, yeah. right? They settled into some more of that back cross backhand cross court dinking from Parento and Lee Waters, but then all of a sudden it changed and shifted a little bit. You saw a few more attacks from Anna Lee coming right up the gut looking for that middle ball. Yeah, and the other thing I think here we need, uh, if I'm talking to Irvin and Parento, this return's got to be deep because they're fired up, so they are going to try and shake and bake again, meaning drive that third and then go poach it. Watch for the shake and the bake. 
And there it is again. And that's where you don't want that ball just laid up right in no, the middle. No, yeah, the, the fourth is the problem here. So a little short hop casual by Parento and Irvin could not handle it. You know, everybody hears, you know, third shot drop so important, but that fourth ball has got to be neutralized and they didn't do a good job of it there. They get a miss, but a five point hole. Seven one. Oh, okay. Here, Anna Lee communicating. They work the switch now. Jesse on the left, Catherine on the right. Shuffling around that forehand is Lee Waters. And that time, maybe just got caught with her feet still yes. moving. Yes, so the shuffling that you called was exactly the problem. Not on balance, pushes it wide. Ooh. Great catch by Jesse Irvin. So when you're switching and switching back, it's where to stand on the serve can get lost in translation. Nice catch there. Catherine Parento. Yeah, she defended a really good outside hip attack and was able to then catch Anna Lee off guard. And well, we've seen a lot of the ladies finishing with one handed backhand slaps there. She did it brilliantly there. Two, seven, one. Nice deep serve just in the last foot of the court. Wrapping that up and over is Lee Waters. Spin as she can, and there's a little pace to the top spin. And a little, just a kiss off the tape <laughs> caused the, the error there. That's, that's, the, that's the amount of tape you want when you're going for that. Catches them off guard. Similar to chef's kiss, yes. pickleball kiss. 100% can. It's <laughs> exactly right. up a great reset, Parento. How about the defense, Jesse Irvin? Oh. Push to the baseline, they work their way back. One shot at a time. Right at the feet of Jesse. Yeah. And stepping in, she can't defend the extra shot. That defense, though. Just a clinic on how to defend tremendous balls at their feet. I mean, it was like 11 pedicures, and they got them all back, but couldn't get the 12th one. Great pressure by the Waters. It's hard when you're in that point to keep the pressure on. They did it. Getting bodied up a bit there is Anna Lee. It's a nice shot from Irvin. ATP. Yes. And it plays in her favor. I like that because Annalie did shift to defend. It's a nice choice, way to keep the ball going. Yeah, and the, your body pulls your opponent's thinking out when you think you might have it and then don't do it. So well played by Urban. Couple tricklers. Chopping that, slicing it back before it even hits the ground. A huge, uh, they're calling that ball wide. They ask the officials whether that ball is in or out. You just saw it on the Selkirk replay. The call will stand. So that's Vicki Ryan, the head referee.
great dink. No. Paired with another. Jesse's so steady. and put Irvin on the left side. Yes, and then they come on with extra meaning because the other ball might have missed by a millimeter cam. That one hit back across three, seven, for the winner. Three, seven, two. And now the waters make a switch as well. They can put Anna Lee on the backhand side. Pace and power. Urban. Yeah, that's there's a lot of ladies that hit two-handed backhands, but when she rotates her hips and brings it like that, that's tough to defend. You don't want her to get hot if you're the Waters. And again, just like that, the strategy changes now. Lee Waters back on the left side. Go! Flipping that. And a straight. Paddles are going to hit the ground now. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what a run of points so far. Take a look at this Selkirk replay. Slapping that into the middle as Catherine breaks down. Earth. So five to seven, and the Waters are going to take a second here, have a conversation, figure out how to make a big time adjustment now with Jesse on the left side. I mean, one, why the switch, and two, it seems to be working. Yeah, so a couple things there. Obviously, at seven two, the Waters were dictating everything that's going on here. They played a match just like this one, as I mentioned, so they were comfortable in that setting. And Catherine and Lee going back and forth. Lee's winning that. Anna Lee was getting in. And a lot of that seven wasn't even point construction as much as short returns when they were serving and they were able to get going. So they got the ball back, switched Jesse over. And now the reach. So Jesse is a very patient player, but also has the reach. If there's a dink that's left up a little bit that maybe Catherine couldn't reach. Jesse, admittedly taller and has very long arms. We talked about that earlier today. So she can pick one off and she's found that opportunity and now they're within two. Great call. So the switch has functioned in the form of some points for Urban and Parento. Let's see if they can knot it up here. Down by just two. Timeouts have been huge factors all day, Cameron. Everyone's calling timeouts when they should, strategically, and it's been flipping momentum. We'll see if it continues. Third shot drive. Oh, wanted to use that length, but just outside. Not finding that sweet spot. 8-5. That's a great return. Great partner support there by Parento. Didn't go back to her spot, stopped, did a little pit stop at her partner. Pump her up. Calling the serve wide. So it was beyond that center line. The middle is currently closed, Cameron, <laughs> with authority. Might have been open in the few first points of this, but no longer. Just like that, back to the dink. of an off-speed roller to the deep middle. Yes, and when she's playing in the grass, as you called it, in the green, 
That's a ball Annalie thought her mom was going to get. She's so far off the court. Brilliant pace by Irvin there. And there's that layup you were talking about. Same thing. A little bit of a high ball. Great reach from Irvin. 7-9. And another timeout called by the Waters. Their second in game number one. It's the one versus two seed. Just to give you a little bit of a reset, this is the winner's bracket final on the women's pro division side. We just finished up the winner's bracket final on the men's side. And Riley Newman and Tyson McGuffin there moving on to championship Sunday. Well, who are they going to play? We have yet to find out. It's the, we've got another bronze medal matchup on the men's side to see who will take home bronze and who will be moving on to Sunday's action here from Indian Wells. And the same exact thing is going to happen on the women's side of the game. You're going to have this winner's bracket final. That bronze medal matchup will take place to see who's moving on to championship Sunday. Yeah, and you're going to have to earn it tomorrow. It's three out of five in the doubles tomorrow, Cameron. So. Uh, as, as we talked with Tyson and Riley, rest up, get that good meal, get that good family time. If he's going to the pool, yes, it's sunny, but <laughs> mid 60s. So that kid's tough. Maybe he does like a dip into maybe a heated pool here locally. So, I think, uh, Dave, I think they call those hot tubs. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> oh, the bubbles. Yes, yes. <laughs> get that massage, get those tats all massaged and ready for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have a great bronze medal match there. And, you know, this one, again, we talk chestnut checkers here. The Waters will call timeout just to stop the madness. You know, Jesse again is getting hot. No more. Just two. That's enough. Let's stop this. Let's see if they are able to stop the quote unquote madness right now. Not looking like it. Another point on the board for Irvin and Parento. Yeah, and they put Anna Lee on the left there and got a little miss on the fourth. Eight, nine. Yeah. What a dink from Lee Waters. Move middle, push side, perfect execution. Defense, Catherine Brento, a little trick shot there. Keeping the ball on Lee Waters. Just one after another, three, four, and now on the fifth, she's all the way back up. Tremendous job by Lee of accepting. You got to concede the kitchen when the ball's up. She did a great job of that, as you called. You were, you were at Sesame Street counting to 10. <laughs> they get the ball back. And they read the poach from Annalie Waters. She tried to run back. Heads up play from Jesse Irvin. Right on the line. Parento and Irvin. Yeah, on the Selkirk replay again, the pace that Irvin can get on that one handed backhand attack, just yeah. tremendous. Out in front, that's why they take the second hand off these ladies that hit the two hander. Catherine knows she was just gifted. It's the holidays, Cam. <laughs> that That's a no-go zone. Yeah, laid up into the backhand. Now tied up and nine all. Lee on the right. 
Oh, and another just right in the top of the net. And all of a sudden, it is now game point for Irvin and Parenta, the number one seed who has trailed for the entirety of this game one. They can't get the ball down. There it is. Just when you think you've got enough on it, Brento and Irvin are there. Game point, opportunity number two. the tape at game point down, just shuffled her feet, attacked, and just a little bit of the tape again, that chef's kiss, Cam. All down by one, they gotta make some magic happen here. That's not gonna help. We saw the rabbit in the hat, not good magic. Tied up 10 all. So two game points fought off. And all of a sudden it's game point the other direction. And it's that pace on a shorter return that sets up the shake, the bake, and the paddles are down again. Urban and Parento say it's time to cool things off as they trail by just one point. But you got to go hats off to those two ladies get back into game one. There's a look at mom and daughter throwing some electrolytes in. We've had all sorts of competition happen over the last several days here at the Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships. Of course, presented by Pickleball Central, and it's Pickleball Central Day here at Margaritaville. Sure is. Get all the equipment you need. Right there at the booth, online, wherever you may be, Pickleball Central's got everything, Cam. Well, not only is the game of pickleball continuing to grow in terms of those playing it, but the number of paddles, shoes, equipment, I mean, it is just through the roof. But Pickleball Central, well, they've got everything you could possibly imagine, anything you could possibly need in the game of pickleball. Of course, you can check it out at pickleballcentral.com. It's a tight game. Back they play with action. a Selkirk. Great competition on the floor. Let's hear around the floor. An Onyx, a, a Paddle Tech, a Carbon. Pretty much anything you can imagine. Right there in that tent or in that online store. Game point opportunity again for the Waters. It was overturned. It appeared to just catch the line. Vicky Ryan overrules it, the referee. And here we go at 10 11. Then attacking oh. up the line. How about the defense again? Catherine doing her job beautifully. Every time the ball comes her direction.
And you forget about 20 minutes ago, Catherine Parenteau pulled a ball off of her shoe tops that should not have come back to force that dink point to continue. And it is all tied up. French fries on the board, 11-11. Love it. Mm, I'm hungry. <laughs> Irvin taking her time here after hitting a ton of dinks there. Even got a little assist there of a recall of the score. You don't see the angle there, but definitely in the flight trajectory, the ball was tailing wide as well. So if you can remember back, they had two game point opportunities already, this being their third. Lee on the right. of game number one, but ultimately fought their way back and pick it up. Game number two coming up right after this from the Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships. and Irvin. So steady in their play. Unreal. And it just keeps going. Sharp angle, still sent over. Whipped up again. They're on their feet as they should be after that display. OMG on the scoreboard. Nothing else needs to be said.
every single time they're going right at those feet. I mean, you could just watch how Parento and Irvin, they literally have to jump backwards just to get out of the way and still hit the ball at the yes. same time. Yeah, they're given ground, but their feet are still in play. It's tremendous precision by the waters. I'll take that one, Lee, my bad. <laughs> Mark that up on your scoreboard. Yeah, that's on me. <laughs> Only one, though. Broadcaster's curse. Yep. A little more of the heads up battle now between Lee and Jesse. Yeah. Speaking of heads up, same thing on the other side Parento versus Anna Lee. They're going to get Oh, so. Anna Lee overruled her mother there and said, I'm not switching. <laughs> Great angle, about as sharp as you can get. Yeah, and she just uses those long arms and extends, like a lot of people will bend their elbow or the wrist, she just takes all of that angle with the reach, beautifully done. This time mom gets the switch she called for last time. And I told you so, daughter. <laughs> Watch what Lee does right here. Gets that right hip, perfect placement, creates the pop up and the put away. When you're playing pickleball, there are just certain areas you want to attack on the body of the opposing player. What are some of those? Yeah, well, if you're going to hold the paddle on the right side of your body and the, the back end, you want to attack that right hip, which is the paddle side forehand hip. And that's what Waters did two points ago. Oh, tricky, tricky, Jesse Irvin. And the other thing is to attack the body up. And when you're used to attacking, guess what you get? You get people backing up and then you can drop it. So the variety of winners you can hit based on your attacks. Great job by Jesse there. Nearly making it. Boy, if that would have gone over, that would have been a <laughs> Fun little circus with the Walendas trying to figure out what are you going to do if that cuts back into the net. Switch called midpoint. Yes. Nice read by Annalie. I love her taking that aggressively, and if you're going to go, go and just smoke it down the middle. The firefighter early. Yeah, and Water, Lee Waters definitely took a swing at a ball that was going deep there. And that's the Waters, you know, win on just action and fire. And that's another one they would have gotten. They would have run to the line to serve again. So big side out for Parento and Irvin. So many of those forehand dinks from Lee Waters. She just continues to kind of roll those paddle face, practically pointing all the way down. Just rolling those up off the edge of her paddle. Yeah. Somehow keeps that ball inbound. Yeah, so big swing. That's a ball you're used to seeing something like that go out when it's hit at that height, but stays in the court here at Indian Wells. There's 
the middle ball. We talked about it early yes. on. I mean, not only does it create some communication problems, but it's a hard ball because you're reaching. Absolutely. You're not on balance, so you, the best you're going to do is maybe pop it up. It's hard to find somewhere safe, and these two will, any ball that has even a remote chance of getting crushed, they're going to do it. Third shot drive, fifth shot drop. I think Annalie wants to get a more and more involved in this matchup. She continues to put herself cross court and from Jesse. They did this before the I formation. Where am I going? You never know. Here I go. Oh. oh. Typically, you want to avoid the I formation, yeah. but you know, right now, playing into the water's favor. Well, they like the you know, the it just sort of change. Like, what's what's the pattern that you're going to deal with? Who are you going to be dinking with? I, I, you know, I love that they're emptying the strategic vault here. Oh, oh, oh they fake themselves out. Saw the fancy footwork of Annalie Waters, the great <laughs> young soccer player as well. Bouncing left and right. Great return, nearly hitting the back line. But the third, you can still get that bake off of the holiday cookie shake when the third is that good at their feet. guard there and trying to do her best to just reach and use that length but just well outside and Parento one of the most balletic and beautiful players puts her paddle down even very nicely to time out just laid it out so softly other people just drop it so the sound of a timeout there Cameron Suddenly it's 9-5. Yeah, in the opposite direction, you can see Athena Truyo, also the partner of Catherine Parento. Work together, constantly working on their games. Yes. It's so fun, actually, if you want to get a chance to go to Catherine's uh, Instagram and just see all the drills. She does a really nice job putting stuff out on social media. Great content, great conversations yes. over there. And Athena, a huge part of that. So a little bit of a different team approach. You know, this is an interesting aspect of pickleball, the involvement of a coach yes. in pickleball. And some choose to have one, some choose not to have one, some choose to have two at this <laughs> yes. point, right? And we're, we're getting two coaches coaching two individuals, and then the individuals hopefully are hearing yeah. the same thing from both. I actually really like it, though, because yeah. it's almost like you've got one set of eyes focused on what's happening with one individual. Yep. They know how to communicate and have that conversation that's best suited. I think overall, as long as you continue to come back together, I kind of like that approach, actually. Yeah, because each of those individuals, as you mentioned, knows that player so well they can get exactly what they need. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Mom, no, no. No, no, yeah, was the call. Yeah. Mother. <laughs> Lee just making sure. And another dink miss. And I think it's a little frustrating right now for Jesse Irvin. She's also looking straight in the sun on that side. So game at number two, going to the waters. A huge, huge victory to push game at number three. Our pickleball paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. Pro XR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. Pro XR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. Match point, it's all up to me. 
nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going. It's time to get game number three underway in the women's pro doubles matchup for the winner's bracket. Who will be moving on to the gold medal on Sunday? We're going to find out in this deciding game. Cameron Irwin alongside Dave Fleming. That's Anna Lee Waters and her mother, Lee Waters, picked up game number two. All right, already got Catherine back to the left side here. So we saw Irvin for a long amount of time really dictate that, then missed a few at the end. So they're going to try Catherine over there. Quick point now for Irvin and Parento. And as we talked about, the coaching on the side of Irvin and Parento and maybe, you know, separating, coming back together. Well, you look courtside and you got Scott Crandall literally sitting with Athena Trujillo. Yes. So they're communicating as to the same conversation that's getting dictated to their players. how Lee Waters got that ball back over. I know, I know because you have no margin from the net to be able to get the height. Brilliant job by her. Maybe not getting set quite as much, quite yeah. as quick as she would have liked. Good job by Anna Lee and taking it back across her body too. Yeah, Lee looking a little befuddled there at herself. Puts her hand in the air. Stinking paddle. You only blame the paddle. That's no matter what paddle, you always blame the paddle. Yes. It's never you as the athlete. No, no, the <laughs> even, equipment. Even in volleyball. Yes. I call it a lot of volleyball. You look at your arms and you're like, come on, platform, what are you doing? And they're attached to you. Yes. <laughs> Set. Work. Really attacking the middle now are the waters. All started with a high third. High thirds usually don't end well. You know, and this is one of those things, it doesn't feel important, but when you get that two nothing lead, you get the ball back, they miss two thirds. Even to get a third point there, just to take advantage of this early could come back to haunt them later, we'll see. Right at the belly button of Parento. Yeah, I like that. Again, we're seeing it more in the pro game, that uh, cross-court attack to the outside hip, really well done there by Waters. in the lob and some defense. Oh, and, and Parento was thinking time out there. Frustrated with her own play, puts the paddle down, picks it back up, says, you know what, no, we're yep. good. Resets mentally. And now maybe it's time. So she almost, she like half put it down again, so. Again, the waters love runs. So far on a 3-0 run. Go. 
hitting the outside of the line there. Does it go? It does. That time, the flat ball. I mean, how do you get that ball to do that? Because usually you just want to hit that ball straight down. Yeah, so she did a good job of getting as low as she and She's a tall lady, so to get as low as she did uh, and then just hold that pronate the wrist so it's straight. Really well done. Tennis all of a sudden. You know, you asked about how can Jesse Irvin do that. She actually works on her wrist flexibility to be able to do that, to be able to hit some of the shots she does. That's why these are the best athletes in the world. I'd like to know the routine to that. Finding some open court, Lee Waters. You can see here, and it, again, it's getting your body ready to hit that two-hander. So you've got to get your right shoulder out of the way. And did it brilliantly there. Lee Waters looking directly into the sun on that left side. Again, shadows starting to creep further into our stadium court. a few off. Just not enough on that. Jesse playing that off her back foot. And we'll switch sides at six, Cameron, so uh, the sun will only be in their face till one of the teams gets there. And oh, Irvin and Parent will have to deal with it. And the shadows can kind of play tricks on your eyes as well. Yes. That's one of the big things to pay attention to. Ball coming in and out of the shadows. For sure. A little extra difficult to see. Yeah. Heads up. Yes, great job by Waters. Some people like to defend on just one side of their body, so you go left side of her body there, finish on the right side, can't get the paddle over there. Got the ball late, almost got Vicki Ryan tagged, our referee. Interesting decision here too, Cameron. It's 5-2. You're going to switch at six, you get the free time out, yet they choose to use one here. So you, you sort of have to process, is it important to us to get this calm down now, or should we let it go? They decide to go. That means they only have one left plus the, the one at six. Yeah, talk about stopping momentum. Well, this is one way to try and do it when you know you've got a forced timeout coming up shortly. But hey, maybe you want to get one or two more on yes, before you hit exactly. that change of ends. Yeah, so the idea there, and this is a more positive approach to that, which is we're going to stop it. Maybe we're going to get to six. I'm not just going to concede that they win another point. Absolutely. Well, it's two to five for the number one seed in game number three, and we've got long legs over here. Why not? Yeah. It's Margaritaville. Things just happen here. We got dancing. We got Prince. Let's go crazy, Cameron. Come on. I was talking to Dominic uh, on broadcast over the last few days, and we just said we just need to start a list of the things that only happen in Margaritaville. <laughs> and I think still Walker is yes, one of them. Yes, this lady over here <laughs> chucking stuff into the upper deck. Too much finesse. And at 
the change of ends. It is now officially six to two. The water's on top. DJ got a gift there because we had about a four second point. He just went right back to let's go crazy. Uh, so the water's feeling good up four at the jump here. The winner of this match, Cameron, doesn't have to play anymore today. The winner does not. However, the loser will have to face off against Leah Jansen and Irina Tereshenko as they have worked their way through the contenders bracket. Irina and Leah had to play the Brashas in the contenders bracket and then faced off against Kovalova and Coop. A phenomenal, phenomenal matchup that just finished 15 to 7. So Leah Jansen and Irina Tereshenko are waiting to find out who they play in that bronze medal matchup. They're still gunning for a gold medal as well. So winner, go have some dinner. Maybe sit poolside with Tyson. <laughs> and the rest of the kiddos. Why exactly. Not? Losers. Not losers, because you still got a chance. You're going to get a medal, but you'd much rather play on Sunday and chance at gold. That time saves the buck. Back side of Annalie. And Annalie looking at her mom saying, oh boy. I scrambled all the way to the right. Got to make that, mom. <laughs> Little flick by Anna Lee there catches Jesse just a bit late. So much of it is all about the timing. You're a millisecond early, a millisecond late, and all of a sudden the direction and trajectory of that ball changes. How fast do you think the ball travels at any given time? Say on a drive, or even just from a firefight up at the kitchen line. You know, I would have to look up the answer to that. I don't want to give a wrong one to our to our <laughs> beloved viewers. But the difference, though, is I'll finish it after this beautiful point. Pulling a couple out of her pocket is Lee Waters. Oh, my goodness. Lee Waters. Look at Anna Lee getting the crowd fired up for her mother. And a high five. That's what's cool about this team is that a 14-year-old can say, all you people cheer for my mom right now, would you? An incredible display of defense from Lee Waters as they are now up seven to two. Some defense from Annalie, but So back to your, your question about speed, I think it's like the softball pitching. You're so much closer, like in tennis. Here you're just 14 feet away at the kitchen line, so the pace and the timeline has to be so quick, so it's it may not be going. It's yes, more than anything. Yes, exactly. I think there needs to be a study done. The reaction timing yes. of pickleball players compared to some other athletes, and I think you'd be rather astonished. So at 4-7, the Waters decide to take a timeout. Yep. Dropped a few there. Jesse Irvin does a slow walk to the seats courtside. Meanwhile, Beyonce plays through <laughs> All the All the single ladies are going bananas here, and we got a bunch of ladies putting on an absolute show here on court. So we talk about Margaritaville and all the great things that can happen here. Over 2,300 participants participating in the USA Pickleball National Championships. But for you, what are some of the things that you get to reminisce on about some experiences here at Margaritaville? Yeah, well, just, uh, you know, to come out and play on championship court, you got your name on the scoreboard and the views. 
I mean, right behind us here. I mean, you you have to play 10% better here, Cameron, just because it's so beautiful here at Indian Wells. The other thing that's great is with 2,300 players, pickleball is a family. So when I wasn't playing, and I'm in a unique position because I literally sit in the same seat for 10 hours a day when I'm broadcasting, if I can sneak out and watch friends, family play, and a lot of people love to do that. So it's your matches and supporting others. That's what makes this sport great and this event great. It's all about community and pickleball. That is the number one thing. When you talk to pickleball players, what do you love this, about this sport so much? Not only is it the fast-paced play, but it's all about the community. Timeout gets the stop, so they checked. I think if uh, Vicky Rhino had told them they only had one, they wouldn't have taken it. They did have two. They took it, worked out. Seven, four, one. Indecision in the middle. that same cross-court dink battle, but we're going both from the right side. Yeah! Shot up the middle from Anna Lee. So when you change the pattern, you have to change. And Jesse stayed wide right. Catherine was on the line and great, just a little half flick by Anna Lee. So crafty at just 14 years old. left shoulder of Annalie felt like she had her paddle on it. And that dink and that winner was set up by the previous Absolutely ball. Absolutely was. And then the perfect pace as she's recovering in the middle. Great job by Anna Lee. <laughs> Nearly touching. Yeah, Anna Lee was beat on that to the outside hip, but got out of the way at the last minute and no harm done for the waters. Interesting speed up there. Maybe not as much of a bounce as Leah had expected. No, it looked like off the tape maybe you'd get something to sit up and it didn't. the baseline. Check this shot out from Annalie Waters. And you can see Catherine is so far to the left that Jesse has to slide there and get beat on the outside shoulder. Didn't do it. They're within two of a gold medal date tomorrow. And the eye formation is in effect. Just a little impatient to start that off the bounce and see if Irvin and Parento can go. It's getting late. That does not help. Don't want to miss the third. It is later. <laughs>
big slap shot, well defended. That ball is just getting worked right now. They had two paddles on it. Oh. And the miss hit off the edge. <laughs> Lee Waters is laughing. And Anna Lee is not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now she is. Uh, after that, both teams are at the kitchen line. One's attacking, the other's attacking, and then a edge guard. Oh, we're playing Let's here too, by the way, folks. Changing the spin of that ball. Jeez. Working that to the outside as well. Stepping in is Anna Lee. Sitting middle. Oh, no. And some mother on daughter. A little frustration. So two points in a row, the waters play perfectly. Have sitters to put away. Oh, and we have to remember, Lee missed that one off the edge exactly. guard. Exactly. is going, I want it, Mom. I want it. And she'd done the work to produce that ball. Six on two. shot it's just that much more precise and the crowd can sense it a little bit too especially after those two mistakes on the on the very very winnable balls that were sitting there that they didn't finish can they get to 10 they can these are just some errors from jesse urban that i'm not used to seeing a couple just easy plays right off right sitting on top of her so maybe a little bit off there for jesse Oh. <laughs> Maybe trying to make something happen a little too quickly are Lee and Anna Lee Waters. The teenager said, I'm going to finish this match right now, but was late on the move. Match point again for the Waters. Handcuffed, ball <sighs> inbounds, and Lee oh. can't get there. The match is over, and Irvin comes up with that insane get. And we play on, Cameron. Looking for a move here are Jesse and Catherine. Sideline. Leave really fighting that one off. Quick pace. wasn't able to convert the next ball. Yes, yeah, similar to what Anna Lee tried uh, on match point number one. Just, you won it so badly. Just overextended a bit. So a side out again for the Waters and another shot at match point. The drive from Mom, Lee Waters sends Lee and Lee to the gold medal match. 
tremendous job. They led most of game one and let it slip away and then come back and win 11-5, 11-6 with some brilliant play in front of an... Fleming back here on championship court. The waters are moving on to championship Sunday. What do you think, everybody? So Lee had the lead the whole way in game number one and let it slip away. How were you able to recompose yourself and come back and take this match? Yeah, I think we knew that we were ahead and a few things happened and I made a stupid call and we lost the game and uh, we said, you know, we have the game plan, let's just stick to it. And the next two games, Anna Lee was able to take some balls off of me, which really like took a little bit of the pressure off and I was able to be a little more aggressive and I think that's how we pulled it out. So Anna Lee, they had Jesse on the left side. They started with Catherine, moved back and forth. How did that affect what you guys were doing? Well, we definitely had to make adjustments to them switching, but we are very comfortable on both sides too. So I think really what was working at the time, we were just switching and trying to figure it out. But I don't think like one set uh, position really helped us. I just think, you know, how we felt in the moment and that's what we ended up doing. So Lee. You had to battle through this one. You're going on to championship Sunday tomorrow. What's the mentality here as you have a sleep tonight to get ready for that? You know the young lady to my right has two matches tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. She's in the singles final as well. So what do you do to make sure she's ready for herself and then for the two of you? Well, luckily we're used to the PPA format where the titles are also on Sunday and annalee has been in most of the finals. So we're kind of used to the two matches in one day. And she's a Energizer Bunny. She's 14. She, do she doesn't get tired, so that goes in our favor. Um, but I'm gonna do the same thing we did in 2019 when we wake up, I'm going to look her in the eyes and say, we're not losing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're not losing is the message from your mom. Annalie, I, I, I just want to ask you one last question. You're in front of all these fans. They love seeing the mother-daughter. There was a point in the middle of this match where two overheads were hit at 789 miles an hour at your mother. She got them both back. You end up winning the point, and you're telling all these people to cheer for my mom. How did that feel? I mean, it feels amazing to be able to compete with my mom, but when she made those shots, I was like, all right, I'm just going to sit back and let you do your thing. <laughs> so the message is clear from mom. We're not losing. Anna Lee wants some cheering for mom. What a tremendous display by the waters here on championship court. Good luck tomorrow, ladies.